Yep, I'm a little late. But better late than never. Good evening, friends. Ernie here with the Trader of Futures. It is Thursday evening, approximately 10.38 here on the eastern seaboard. We're not really near the sea, about 30 miles inland, but it sounds good. Here in the palatial studios of my home. Not so palatial. It's all an illusion. Everything is an illusion. The market's an illusion. The government, your family, your life. All an illusion. We're living in a hologram, a matrix. It's all artificial. You conjure it up in your own mind every day. And we share in this grand illusion together. Kind of a mass psychosis. As you can see, it's snowing outside or inside, depending on your perspective. It's all artificial. And that's really, uh, that's really the subject today. Well, that's not very artificial-like. There, that's better. Got to get the full effect. Ah, uh, yes, we have the chat. We can turn that off. There, now we get the full effect in all its glory. It's not really snowing here. Actually, uh, today it was about 40 degrees here in late December. That's pretty good for December. Let's see if we can hang on to those relatively warm temperatures right through January. That usually means that we'll have a very, very snowy January sometime at some point. That I'm not looking forward to. Actually, I am looking forward to snow this year because I bought myself an Arian's snow plow or snow blower. Shoots that damn snow 60 feet. It's got hand warmers. It's really cool. Six speeds. Snow doesn't stand a chance. As dirt says, XRP is not an illusion. <laughs> like clockwork, the AI mentor is giving me a call. How you doing? I am. What do you have to say? Oh, I won't say it. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, that would certainly attract a certain type, though. Thank you for that. Bye. Yeah, he's always shooting some ideas off to me. That was a pretty good one. I like it. Yeah, there will, there will be... Um, there will be a new direction, not not in not in the services. I mean, this this particular show is going to be all about the. Well, thank you, Dimarip Pyramid backwards. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too. Hayseed says the plunge protection team is real. Of course, when I said Hayseed, Siri responded. says, hey Siri, it says the plunge protection team is Israel. <laughs> See? That's funny. That was really funny. All eyes, how you doing? 
Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you and your family as well. If everything is an illusion and this is a simulation, where is the computer? We are the computer. That's right. The computer is everywhere. A computer doesn't necessarily have to have physical bounds. Thank you, Chris. V. Lee, how you doing? And Boogers, how's it going? Uh, yeah, this whole idea that um, the Plunge Protection Team saved the day yesterday, or today. Um, I'm not so sure. I really am not so sure. Although it was very unusual for the you know for the market to recover 600 points in the space of about 30 minutes, maybe under 30 minutes. That was very impressive. Very impressive indeed. So um, what we're going to talk about tonight, though, is how the artificial intelligence system, what I call the embodiment, that's our, our neural net, that's our, uh, the program that we use to generate trades in our service, how that works, what, what is it all about? What are its underlying, what are its underpinnings? How did we put it together? And uh, I wanted to start off by talking about, you know, what the big idea was with it all. What it was all about. There it is. So I wanted to start off with what I what I call the um, the big idea. What is the big idea? So let's assume that you know you're a trader or someone who wants to be a trader and you want to make money in the market, but it seems like kind of an elusive thing. Making money in general, I think, is an elusive thing, but but particularly in the market. Uh, one of my mentors once said that um, trading is the hardest way to make easy money. And so what is meant by that is that uh, finding the way, the path to making money, and, and maybe even the way it's actually done can be a very, very complex thing. But once you've mastered it, the actual, or once you understand the, I guess the um, the formula, the recipe, it is kind of like a recipe. Then uh, making money actually becomes quite easy. The hard part is staying on the recipe. Now, this is something my wife couldn't do because, first of all, my wife is an excellent cook, but she cannot use a recipe to cook with. She cooks everything off the top of her head. So she could not be a baker, for instance. She could not bake a cake. Well, she could. But it would probably come out different every time. And uh, trading is a lot like that. You need to know what the recipe is, what the secret sauce is, the combination and the order of ingredients. Really, really important. So for some time, for some people it, um, it works, but more often, for most of you, Trading is a, and, and profiting in trading is kind of an elusive thing. It, you know, you'll, um, you'll think that you're a genius for a while, and then all of a sudden, whatever you did or whatever you were doing, you lost that mojo and it just doesn't work again. You make some great advances and then you give it all back, and maybe then some. But you shouldn't feel alone because 90% of people lose at trading. That's a fact. 70% of people within the first 90 days of open up, opening up a futures account blow up that account. 
<laughs> it's freaking unbelievable. But that happens. That's exactly what happens. And then 90% of the people never really end up making any real money. And it's a really elusive thing. And we're all following this kind of standard, you know, the standards that are out there. All the tenets of trading, you know. Trying to manage risk. Setting stops. Letting your winners run. You know, all this crap that they tell you. Just follow these. Draw some lines. Go with overbought and oversold. <clears throat> Patterns. All of them have some truth to them. I'm not saying that all that stuff is bunk. It's just that um, the way it's taught to people is bunk. Because it's not really meant to help you make money. It's meant to help you live the broker narrative. The broker narrative is designed and conjured up a conspiracy, in fact, by all brokers. They have perpetuated this narrative, this way of trading that is designed specifically to make them money by you pumping out transactions one after another. The shorter the time frame, the better. They don't care. It's all about the transactions. Sell side analysts are, are in fact a tool of, of the broker and they're designed, again, their purpose is to incite fear or elation or greed for the purpose of creating transactions. That's what they're there for. The talking heads on the financial networks, do you think that they're there to help you make sense of these markets? No. They are there to get you excited and to create transactions. That's what it's all about. So this is what all the retail traders are, are led into, like cattle. They're herded into this whole idea of the broker narrative to create transactions. And we're so damn good at it. The pro, on the other hand, does not look at the market that way at all. And professional fund managers, uh, hedge funds, prop trading firms, institutional uh, traders, they all have a very, very different look on the market, almost exactly diametrically opposed to everything that a retail trader does. So if you were watching a pro trader actually do their trade craft, it would look foreign. You would say, well, why the fuck are you doing that? That's, cr that's freaking crazy. You'll never make money that way. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I've, I've worked with uh, most of the big institutional banks and hedge, a lot of the hedge funds and the exchanges, the brokers, the analysts, the consultants, every all of them. I've, I've been in that business for, you know, 35, 40 years. And um, right from the very beginning, too, you know. So, I mean, I was in on the meetings where they discussed what their that broker narrative was going to be and how they were going to make money off of the the unsuspecting public. And have also built the systems for the people who are the pro traders, the hedge funds, and how they look at the market. I've, um, I've also studied a lot of the greats out there and their philosophy. And uh, there is, in fact, a path. Mostly, you know, that is um, embodied in, in automated systems. There is a path that is considered sort of the holy grail of trading. And I've said it many times before on this channel. I say it over and over again, and that is, and, it, and this, this same path actually works in life too. Uh, you know, if you look at um, most very, very wealthy people, 
people that have you know tens of millions of dollars or more you'll find that you know when you look at how they make money yeah they might have some one main thing that they do that got them started but uh, as they move on they start expanding and moving into different things and start creating multiple streams of income some of it passive some of it active and that's how they maintain their wealth and how they maintain stability and how they can have failures and still still keep going that same concept is the holy grail in trading and i call it multiple non-correlated strategies and that's the key the problem is that doing it as a retail trader it would be impossible you simply well it's not impossible it's it's that uh you know trying to find that recipe the methodology and and all the relevant skills that it takes to bring that all together is a, an extremely difficult thing to do and uh, i mean i could show you that and show you all the dif disciplines that you would have to attain and and then coordinate and then practice and then perfect so um this multiple non-correlated strategies is, is what it's really all about. Just like in life, you know, the, um, the thing that will give you the most security in life with work is to have multiple streams of income. You know, maybe income property, your job, maybe a second job, maybe a side business, a consultancy, uh, maybe a, an annuity and um, some other passive income that you've created at some point. All of that working together. Most millionaires have five, six, seven, eight streams of income. Warren Buffett has over 72 independent streams of income. <laughs> of course, you know, I'm not expecting you to be Warren Buffett. So why non-correlated? Non-correlated meaning that the source of that income, the idea behind it, any one of those strategies is completely separate and different than any of the other strategies. It's not derived from the same thing, the same market conditions or markets at all. It may be a completely different idea. And they're so different so that the gains that they make are being made in different ways, so they're uncorrelated. They, they don't happen at the same time. When one's going up, maybe the, another one's stagnant or going down. Hopefully, in, in general, most of them are always going up, but you know, every, every system has its day, and some of those days are dogs. So by having multiple streams of income, multiple strategies working together, they have a hedging effect, and this is in fact what a hedge fund does. They have multiple strategies going, long and short. You'll hear that term used a lot. They're long and short, long and short. They're long some things, short some other things. Sometimes they're long and short on two related things, and they're not really playing the individual things, they're playing the relationship. That might be one strategy out of 20 or 30 that they're employing. And so one of the truths in this industry is that, and, and one of the reasons why most retail f traders fail, besides the fact that they don't know how to position size and they don't have any discipline and they don't know anything about having an edge or what a hypothesis is or what an actual strategy is, <laughs> I guess that's more than one thing. They can't put it all together. Never mind, you know, multiple. They can't do one. So what I'm describing, you know, this, this philosophy is, uh, and, and there's more to this too. I mean, there's a lot more to this. I often recommend Nassim Taleb's uh, quad of books, or triad or quad, depending on how many of his books that you want to read, but... Nassim Nicholas Taleb is um, really a, a, uh, a remarkable fellow, academic, mathematician, and philosopher. And he wrote the book Black Swan. I'm sure many of you have heard of that and know what a black swan event is. 
He also wrote Anti-Fragile, Systems That Gain from Disorder, a seminal piece of work. And Fooled by Randomness, how random things, how there are patterns in randomness, and how we are deceived by uh, some of those patterns or, or non-patterns, or what may look like chaos. There is order in chaos. And then, uh, I, and then I'm adding one more. It was the triad of books, but I add one more from uh, Nassim Taleb, and that's uh, Skin in the Game. Anyways, those four books, they encapsulate very nicely uh, the underlying philosophy of all of this multiple non-correlated strategies and how it all ties together. And, and, that, and, and that, in fact, is what the artificial intelligence trade setups, the, the service that I've been peddling now since October, peddling is a lousy word, that I've been offering to people since October is built upon. So we took all of this knowledge, all of this experience, this general philosophy, and then created a, an art of, well, employed an artificial intelligence software and systems and other related systems and data and and databases and different ways of filtering that databases and extracting the data. I mean, there's a lot of work that went into this to create something that follows that, that basic tenant of multiple non-correlated strategies, things that are anti-fragile, they are resistant to, um, to stress, they have convexity. You know what a convex mirror is, you know, all the light comes in and is focused in on, uh, you can't escape it, it all gets focused in inward. No matter how much randomness or how much volatility is, it, 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 um, it gains strength even in that, that chaos, that disorder. Black swans is the idea that big events will happen occasionally, unexpected events that will change the course of whatever you're doing or they'll change the course of history. And so you need systems that, that can react to that or be resistant to that or take advantage of that. Understanding the statistical nature of things and the randomness, the chaos. All of these things are kind of like these concepts that all come together in the artificial intelligence trade setups. And, uh, it's, and it is the reason why it works. I mean, we're, I am, you know, we're seriously considering now approaching uh, fund managers with this, with this tool. But... Um, I mean, that, that's further down the line. I mean, there's still some refinement that it's going to take in order to make it something that is easily transportable from one person to another. It takes a lot of work for us to deal with it because its, um, it's interface is raw. But we, uh, we simplify that for subscribers um, very, very simply. We, uh, we take it and we distill it down to get in here, get out here. But it's, it's more than that. It, you know, the way it's presented, it's not like your normal setups. It's, um, it's more like scenarios. We say, well, given this scenario, if this happens or that happens, and this is actually how these setups work, and price reaches this level, then do this. And then it should achieve some, uh, some general movement based on decades and decades of data. And the neural network helps in recognizing literally millions of patterns that it that it combines strings together concatenates finds unique versions of them and then finds those patterns out in the chaos and then then presents them to us as opportunities scenarios and then we take those and we put them into a nice little spreadsheet and send it out in an email to people And uh, so the result of that, the result of that is the, and well, we, we also go way beyond that too. We have a, uh, a nice 
live trade room that's uh, Discord based. If you're not familiar with Discord, go down below and click the uh, the Discord link, the invite, and uh, that will invite you to our Discord server. We have about 1,400 members there, and we talk about all kinds of things. We talk about general topics. We talk about trading, crypto, weed. And there is a private channel on there that is designed specifically to support the artificial intelligence setups. And um, we call my partner the AI mentor, and he's there full time helping people uh, work with these setups. And I'm proud to say that uh, since we've set this up in the beginning of October, we haven't had a single losing day. Not one single losing day. That doesn't mean we haven't had losing trades. We've had some losing trades, very few, but not a single losing day. Now, this is the same, these are the same, uh, or the, uh, the same setups or trades that I was publishing free of charge on my old YouTube channel and in that Discord server for, for many, many months and achieved something like a 92% uh, win rate. I know, it's crazy. And, and we don't expect it, although it's been doing, you know, 90, a little bit better than 90% win rate. Um, although only about 30% of the setups actually, the scenarios actually work out. But when they do work out, 90% of them are, are, have been winners. We target something very different. We target like 80%. But for some reason, we've been lucky. So maybe we're going to um, experience someday... Uh, you know, the other side of that. Instead of 90%, maybe we'll get 70% winners, which would still be good. <laughs> but maybe we'll have a losing day every once in a while, which hasn't happened yet. So anyways, uh, I have a, a deal. and I'm, This is going to be all I'm going to talk about this right here. So there is a deal right now where you can get the training at a very reduced cost, and that's good for today and tomorrow and through the weekend. And then that's it. The, uh, the price of this is, uh, I've been told, is um, ridiculously cheap for what it is. And um, we'll see, because, you know, when we approach the, um, the fund managers and we sell this system, you know, it's not going to cost them $99 a month. It's probably going to cost them $99,000 a month. But, um, yeah. Check it out. I think that uh, you'll be very, very impressed, very pleased. It's something that um, you can be a, a new trader, mid-level trader that's struggling, or, an, or a, um, a very accomplished, experienced trader, and you'll find huge benefit in this system. All right, now we shall go on to... Oh, someone's talking about weed. Ernie, how are you viewing the traditional markets with all this volatility lately? And thoughts on Trump saying buy the dip, then the Dow jumping a thousand points. Sustainable? Um, so volatility doesn't scare me. And for the reasons that I talked about before, we design our philosophy, our trading philosophy, around this anti-fragile concept. In fact, volatility is good. Volatility, uh, when you're using systems like this, actually makes the system stronger. So, uh, yeah, the volatility doesn't, doesn't bother me at all. Tyler Cobb. Sorry, what did you say? I didn't hear you. I was to pick, too busy picking my book. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, uh, he's trying to make a point here. I'll go back to trading stocks that have uh, protection teams on them so I don't lose any more of my money. Yeah, so uh, there may, you know, I don't know if the plunge protection team came into action, but I suspect that they didn't. And that's why, uh, as all eyes had pointed out, that Trump felt the need to get out there and tweet something to talk this market up because he's very disappointed with Jerry or Jerome Powell. Who I think is um, really um, surprising a lot of people. I mean, he's all over the place. 
I mean, I, I think it's general knowledge. The Fed doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't have a very good track record over the past century. <laughs> Tyler Cobb says, buy Bitcoin, the only money that isn't issued by governments with protection teams. Do you see the big picture yet? I do. I do see the value of a uh, cryptocurrency. I absolutely do. I don't see the value of Bitcoin quite yet, unless it's changed dramatically. It has a lot of flaws. But I do see the value of having an alternative money that is free from censorship. And, and that's going to be a real issue. And it already is becoming an issue now, especially with all, a lot of these payment processors out there like PayPal and Authorize.net, Square. All these places. They are, they are censoring people. You've probably heard the story with Sargon of Akkad uh, getting booted off of Patreon and Patreon indiscriminately censoring people. They say because of, you know, uh, their, their policy, which is bullshit. It's completely politically motivated. But who's to say that? And, and they, they are also, their hand is forced by their payment processors, particularly people like PayPal and Stripe and Square and all these others that are actually enforcing their own version of morality uh, actually it's more like their political dogma and if they don't like you they won't allow you to do business and I can see how crypto will allow you to not to have to do business with them you know I mean I'd, I'd like to think that you could do that some kind of economy with gold and silver too but that's difficult and of course there's um, a site like gold goldmoney.com that would allow you to do that. In fact, I've taken payment in gold through goldmoney.com. And you can also buy gold through there with your crypto. But um, the problem with crypto is that it's hard for people, hard for people to approach it. Most people don't want to buy a wallet, don't understand the need for a wallet. Wallets freak them out. And then even those that uh, have figured out wallets, you know, then you start dealing with these hardware wallets, and that freaks them out too. So internet money is, is tough right now. The culture isn't ready for it yet. And putting uh, a wallet on your phone isn't very secure. Putting it on your desktop isn't secure. There was a big internet outage today, but not for those who were using Bitcoin because of the satellite coverage. I heard that there was a big electrical explosion in Queens. Also, with the government shutdown and the reaction to PMs, do you see PMs only going up from here? Uh, PMs being precious metals. As this spike has been correlated to uncertainty with the Fed and the Gov shut down directly. Uh, those are a lot of connections, a lot of dots connected there. Hayseed says, you saved me a lot of money. Well, thank you. So I'm scrolling through here. All I says, this is definitely all credible info coming from Ernie, and those who listen are, and are disciplined can save a lot of money here. Make some, too. Appreciate the streams, as always, Ernie. Keep a, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Inhaling some amazing, this is how he follows up. Inhaling some amazing fresh-pressed, organically grown and cured Lemon Girl Scout cookies. Rosin soaking in the knowledge. Ernie, cheers. We, uh, we grew some lemon haze. That was, I, I like that. But lemon Girl Scout cookies, that's kind of, in, it's lemon and minty flavored, I guess. 
we'll have to try that. Right now we're um, uh, we're we have uh, Deliath is our main crop. I can show you what Deliath looks like. Hold on a second. We'll get Deliath here. So I have to uh, So we, uh, we had to uh, clip a bud and then examine it under a microscope to look at the trichomes to see whether or not it's ready yet. And uh, the way you can tell whether your, your plants are ready for harvest is by looking at those trichomes. Those are those crystalline structures on, on the leaves and buds. And uh, that's where the active ingredients, the CBD and THC, is located. And what you're looking for are uh, milky colored trichomes with some of them starting to turn amber. And, um, on, and they're not there yet. These are all very clear trichomes. It's kind of hard to see at this magnification, but if you use our, we have a microscope here. If you use the microscope, you can see it clearly. But this is, <clears throat> this is um, a, a very interesting strain. As you can see, it is laden with trichomes this would create some great rosin all eyes and this is called Deliath D-O-L-I-A-T-H so that's the um, that is what is up That is uh, what is in the tents right now. That is the main thing. That, we have one other strain too, but um, and then we that's in our flowering tent. In our um, in our veg tent, we have about four different strains, five different strains going right now, waiting to see which ones will deserve our attention. Michael Jones says, you're a realist, Ernie. Uh, what you see is what you are going to get. Yeah, all eyes. Amber trichomes. They're the best. Thank you, Gabrielle. Oh, I, I see. You're talking to Red Bear. You're not talking to me. <laughs> Eugene... McFarlane says that Jack Dorsey is the founder of Twitter and Square, also invested in Lightning Network. Yeah, Jack Dorsey can eat my whatever. He's a dickhead. Will that get me banned? I'm already shadow banned on Twitter. I've got tens of thousands. I've got almost, you know, almost 30,000 followers on one of my channels. I used to have another channel that had uh, 65,000 followers and uh, I let it go for a while and I have this new one uh, that has um, ab about 27,000 followers and it's a, a val uh, you know a verified account it's under the name Trader of Futures and recently in July it started to, it it became shadow banned so that uh, most of my followers don't don't actually get my tweets anymore I used to get uh, something on the order of three million impressions a month. Now I'll be lucky if I get fifteen thousand. Unbelievable. So I am getting censored, and I'd like to do something about it. Robert Leonardo wants to know if he can change the subject. Hey, Ernie, may I change the subject for a moment? Who are your picks for the AFC Championship? Your team is in, but oh boy, Tom is not the same. That's not true. He's not the same. He is the same. 
Um, I don't really give a shit about any of the other teams, so I just say the Patriots all the way. It's sort of like my call on Bitcoin, you know? Short every rally until it doesn't work. Bet on the Patriots until they don't work anymore. The only problem with uh, the Patriots is everybody else that's around Tom. Although I think that uh, Tom probably has uh, two or three more productive years in him. Uh, the guy's an old guy, but he's still right at the top of the league, you know? <laughs> so what are you going to say? Oh, I see. Red Bear is um, saying 6C, which is uh, must be the Canada uh, currency, uh, futures currency on Think or Swim for Gabrielle. I'm glad that there are people out there helping each other. That's what it's like in the uh, in our artificial intelligence trade room. It's like one big happy family. Everyone supports one another. And everyone's making money. Lots of money. All I says he's buying gold and silver with Bitcoin since Bitcoin was above 6K. Tyler Cobb says, for people with 10 Bitcoin or more active investments, we remotely trade your Bitcoin so it never leaves your exchange wallet. Really? You sound like um, that Bitcoin fund manager. But he used to say they, they needed at least 50 Bitcoin. Then he dropped it down to 25. Are you with that, are you with that same outfit? Now it's 10 Bitcoin? Memphis Lindsay. That's a very interesting name. Welcome. How large of an account do you recommend to use in this system? Is it possible uh, with one contract due to overnight margin constraints for holding trades for multiple days for small accounts? Yes, it is. We have a way that you can trade. We, we trade futures, forex, and equities. The equities are starting to come on slower. But uh, with futures, there are micro futures contracts on many of the different contracts that uh, we would recommend, like for oil and on, on the currencies, the FX futures, uh, as well as um, gold. Um, and, uh, and then, of course, there's Forex that we also make calls on, and you can trade standard, mini, or micro position sizes. Uh, we also have a, a list of ETFs that are equivalents to the futures, so you can trade those. So there are options for you. I mean, we have some people that have you know five or six thousand dollar accounts that have you know moved them up to six, seven, eight, ten thousand dollar accounts in just the two months that we've been open. So yeah, you can. Um, you got to be selective, obviously, when you have a very small account. And, um, you know, I don't recommend starting with a small account, but, but it's very possible. And people in, in the room have proven that it can be done. And we're there to help people. So, yeah, that can happen. Hope that answers your question. Some nice color in that, bud. I just grew some strawberry cookies. Swift, Swiss sativa crossed with... GSC looks similar. Deep, deep purple hues. We'll be pressing next week. Red Bear says, seriously, guys, take up Ernie on this uh, and join this service. My account hit another high today. That's three out of the last four days my account has hit a high. Well, thank you, Red Bear. I'm glad you're doing so well. And uh, I just want to uh, point out that the AI mentor that is in that in, in the trade room there is absolutely the the best. Damien, I just took delivery of 21,000 ounces of silver today. Holy crap, harder to deal with than I thought. A lot of weight. Yeah, I can see that. Ernie, I've been on the fence with joining your AI setup, but lately want to, not because I discredit the tech, but because I'm not familiar with the, all the trades I've seen you make when demonstrating it. Well, the only way, you know, it doesn't cost that much. I mean, 99 bucks a month, you could take a whole month and just watch it, right? And then paper trade it. 
for 99 bucks, I mean, who, who the fuck cares? Um, and then, uh, and then when you're ready, just put some real money to it. Start, you know, start slow. You can set up all the trades at night and watch them on the next day. And don't worry about, you know, having to learn or being shown. That's what our, our private channel is on Discord is for. Uh, and yes, you can uh, get in touch with me via email. So what I would suggest is that you go over to my website, traderoffutures.com, and click the About link. Oh, my head. Click the About link up there. And uh, look, I'll show you. I shall show you. Oh, look at that. Bitcoin dropping again. So this is traderoffutures.com. Front page is showing the uh, the deal that we have for the next day or two. And then about the about link up here, right here. Just click on that. That brings you to this page. Yeah, it's about me. And then down here, you'll see all the contact information. There's my phone number. Yeah, I am giving it out on the internet and my email you can also leave a voicemail right here and you can record it right on that right there is called split rock that's at McConaughey head on Martha's Vineyard yeah that's me splitting the rock Uh, Discord is super easy. I mean, uh, all you got to do is just click on the link down below. And uh, again, I'll, I'll show you that. I mean, if you were to... Um, I'll show you how to get to Discord. So if you go to my uh, YouTube channel... Oh, here's the video that we're watching right now. Just click on. And if you scroll down, you'll see join our Discord server right here. That's an invitation. And that'll bring you to Discord and allow you to join. Now there's a web version and then there's a, um, a desktop version you can download. I would recommend the desktop version. It's, um, it's really a, ni a nice app. Uh, I'll bring it up here. So here's here's dis here's the Discord app right here, and um, here's my channel or my server, and I'm also joined with other servers as well. This is um, Sargon of Akkad's server right here. He has a, a very popular server. Mine's pretty popular too. It's got a lot of people in it. It's got a lot of different channels. So I even got one on weed. There is a uh, private chat. Oh, that's Gabe. Sorry. And then this is the AI setups channel.
There's the artificial intelligence mentor right there. He's the main dude in there. So it goes on and on. Thousands of messages a day go through there. Ah, GameCuber says uh, he's on there too. So cool. Alan Sturber, holy crap! Two cubic feet of silver. Is that how much it is? Twenty thousand. Wow. I got a pretty big silver thingy here. Let's see, what do I got? It's not. It's not twenty thousand ounces, but this thing. This will. This thing will put a dent in you. It's um, half a kilo. <laughs> I got random silver hanging around here. Is this 1916 or 19 or 47 boxes, Jesus Christ. Thanks, Gay uh, GameCuber. Same to you, man. Hola, Skunk Funk. Chris says he's got a kilo bar coming and a few rolls of eagles. I like collecting the um, uh, the proof sets too because um, now all the all the silver coins are actually silver in the proof sets, the U.S. Mint proof sets, except for the dollar. Why don't they friggin' cre create a silver dollar? What's up with that? Instead of creating a, some bullshit yellow metal or orange metal. So uh, where is silver right now? Let's see. Oh, it's up a little bit. Fifteen dollars and thirty-four cents. Uh. In the beginning of December, it got down to thirteen dollars and ninety ninety nine cents, and actually in November it got down as low as thirteen dollars and eighty eight cents. Still a good buy. It's popped up a little bit. GameCube says, I just got here. Has Ernie talked about hemp legalization at all? 
Um, I, I talk about it quite a bit. I haven't talked about it tonight. Hemp legalization is going to be huge. I have a bunch of people I know moving to Oklahoma already. And uh, I agree. I agree. I think that that's going to open up a lot of things. And uh, what we really need, though, is we need it to get declassified on the DEA as a Schedule One and get that off of there. That'll make a, a huge difference as well. But the legalization of, uh, of hemp products is going to be very big. started spiking after the government shutdown. Silver did. I guess you could say that there was a correlation to that, but I, I don't think so. The government shutdown is going to be a, a nothing burger. It's more of a political thing. But, you know, I'll do another show where I will, um, I will dedicate it to hemp legalization. All right, so uh, we're an hour into this show. And uh, I want to thank everybody for showing up. I really enjoyed myself uh, talking to you guys. You guys are the best. If you haven't already taken advantage of the AI setups, you don't know what you're missing. Um, what I should do is I should start, um, I don't want to go right into the room and just show you all the comments, but, um, people are doing great there. At some point, GameCuba says, I want to go Randy Marsh and own my own Tegrity Farms eventually. Ernie. When are we meeting at the poker table again? I'm sure you want some of your money back. Yeah, I uh, I only play poker for fun. If if you want to play if you want to play something that I'm competitive at, uh, pool that would be it. Nine ball. That. Nine ball. I know that. All right, we're going to call it a night, folks. I want to thank you very much for joining me here tonight. And uh, I'm going to be on tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Hawking my wares. I, I might even shave. But um, all of you have a good night. All right, True Grit's asking, what do you think about the fu the funeral and those notes passed around? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Are you talking about George Bush? I that's out of my mind. I don't really, I I, I apologize if it means something to you, but I I, I really don't care. All I says he plays for fun also. Always thanks for the stream. Have a great night. Happy holidays. Well, we already had Christmas, so we say happy, Merry Christmas and then Happy New Year. Everybody take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I knew that, Jacob. I knew he was talking about Bush. That's why I said I don't really care. That's all. <laughs> yes, Q Anon nonsense. Have a good night.